So guys, this is our ab program. You can do this a few times a week or on the days that you do your run and stretches. So we've got nine exercises that we're going to go through. We're going to do it in a circuit format and this is one full round. So the first exercise we have is hip thrust sit-ups and you're going to do 15 reps. So you're going to trust your hips up after each sit-up. If you find them too hard, just do a basic sit-up. When you've done your 15 hip thrust sit-ups, you're going to go into 50 flutter kicks. So you're crossing over for 50 reps. After you've done your 50 reps, we're going to go into leg raises for 10. If you find them hard with your hands out to the side or too hard in your lower back, you could put your hands underneath your bum for support. After you've done your, your 10 leg raises, you're going to go into single leg stretch it. In, so it's a single leg stretch. So you're just kind of grabbing just below your, your knee, pull it in for a slight second. So you're just barely touching onto it and then let it go again. And you're going to do 30 reps of them. After them, you're going to do 30 double leg crunches. So you're keeping your feet in and you're trying to touch the back of your shoes or your ankles. And you're going to do 30 of them. When you've done your 30 of them, you're going to do 20 reverse crunches. So we show you from this angle so you see exactly what we're doing. So you're going to do 20 of them. Then we're going to go into your plank reaches. And we're going to do 10 each side. So you're in a plank position and you're reaching out till we've done 10 on each side. After you've done 10 of each side of your plank reaches, you're going to go into a plank saw and you're going to do 20 forward and 20 back. So you look, we're coming up onto your toes and then slightly back down off them. So we're not going up and down, we're going forward and back. You're not letting your hips drop. After you've done them, you're going to do side plank reaches. And you're going to do 10 on each side. So you'll do 10 on your right side. And then you'll do 10 on your left side. Okay, so that was one full round. You can do it twice. So guys, this is our... So guys, this is our ab program. You can do this a few times a week or on the days that you do your run and stretches. So we've got nine exercises that we're going to go through. We're going to do it in a circuit format and this is one full round. So the first exercise we have is hip thrust sit-ups and you're going to do 15 reps. So you're going to trust your hips up after each sit-up. If you find them too hard, just do a basic sit-up. When you've done your 15 hip thrust sit-ups, you're going to go into 50 flutter kicks. So you're crossing over for 50 reps. 
After you've done your 50 reps, we're going to go into leg raises for 10. If you find them hard with your hands out to the side or too hard in your lower back, you could put your hands underneath your bum for support. After you've done your, your 10 leg raises, you're going to go into single leg stretching. In, so it's a single leg stretch. So you're just kind of grabbing just below your, your knee, pull it in for a slight second. So you're just barely touching onto it and then let it go again. And you're gonna do 30 reps of them. After them, you're gonna do 30 double leg crunches. So you're keeping your feet in and you're trying to touch the back of your shoes or your ankles. And you're gonna do 30 of them. When you've done your 30 of them, you're going to do 20 reverse crunches. So we show you from this angle so you see exactly what we're doing. So you're going to do 20 of them. Then we're going to go into your plank reaches. And we're going to do 10 each side. So you're in a plank position and you're reaching out till we've done 10 on each side. After you've done 10 of each side of your plank reaches, you're gonna go into a plank saw and you're gonna do 20 forward and 20 back. So you look, we're coming up onto your toes and then slightly back down off them. So we're not going up and down, we're going forward and back. You're not letting your hips drop. After you've done them, you're gonna do side plank reaches. And you're going to do 10 on each side. So you'll do 10 on your right side, and then you'll do 10 on your left side. Okay, so that was one full round. You can do it twice. So guys, this is our ab program. You can do this a few times a week or on the days that you do your run and stretches. So we've got nine exercises that we're gonna go through. We're gonna do it in a circuit format and this is one full round. So the first exercise we have is hip thrust sit-ups and you're going to do 15 reps. So you're gonna trust your hips up after each sit-up. If you find them too hard, just do a basic sit-up. When you've done your 15 hip thrust sit-ups, you're gonna go into 50 flutter kicks. So you're crossing over for 50 reps. After you've done your 50 reps, we're gonna go into leg raises for 10. If you find them hard with your hands out to the side or too hard in your lower back, you could put your hands underneath your bum for support. After you've done your, your 10 leg raises, you're gonna go into single leg stretching. In, 
So it's a single leg stretch. Good evening, guys. How are we? So we're uh, we're going to start in a couple of minutes. Lauren just forgot her bottle of water, so she's just running into the shop to get some water. So while Lauren is getting her water, I'm going to go through the program with you. So I posted it up in the group earlier on, but just so you can see again, so we're prepared. So try your best that you have some sort of weights, guys. If you don't have any weights, even two bottles of water, just try get something that, to make the exercise a little bit harder. If you found that you don't have anything at all, you're better doing the other session that we did with uh, this morning. So uh, it's in the group and it's in the unit section. But if you do have stuff, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to work the way we worked on Monday. So uh, in a circuit format, so you've got seven exercises. We're going to work for 45 seconds. You're going to get 15 seconds rest and then you're going to do that four times. So the main Hang thing on. with with the program is, is that we're not trying, we're not going to race through everything. There's a couple of exercises that we will race through like mountain climbers, but most of them are done on controlled tempos. Here's Lauren just adjusting the camera for you. Hi guys, good evening. So that was good that there wasn't a big queue in Super Value. So oh guys, gosh. your seven exercises are... A dumbbell swing press up. I'll, I'll actually wait till Lauren's in view and she's going to demo them and then we'll do your warm up. So we're going to demo them because a few of them are new for you. I'm just going to keep the program on your right hand side, Lauren, so everyone can see. So um, the first one is your dumbbell swing press up. So just copy what Lauren's doing here. So just talk them through it, Lauren, so everyone can see exactly what to do. Dumbbell swing, guys. So it's right in between the legs, hinge from the hips. And then push your legs and your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Straight back down, keep the momentum. Straight back down and up. Okay, if we don't have if we don't have dumbbells, guys, do a full kettlebell swing. So you're not gonna do what we did the other night, you're gonna do a full one right up the American style one. So if you have no kettlebell uh, no dumbbells, do a full kettlebell swing instead. Okay? So your second exercise is a plank to hollow body. So you're doing your plank and then you're going to get push your bum right up and then drop down. So it's right up. So you're tucking your head in, your chin into your chest and push your bum up high in the air. Okay, and try and keep Lauren's tempo for the, for the, for them exercise, uh, for the plank to hollow body. Try and stay with her. She's not going to go too fast. Okay, your assisted pistol squats. So these are really good single leg exercise. If you do find them too hard, we're just going to do body weight squats, but you should be fine. Bear with me on these ones, guys. My balance isn't great. So one leg on the ground, guys. You're going to elevate the opposite leg. Pick a point and concentrate on it. You're going to sit back into a chair, bench, whatever you have, and stand back up. And you're trying so then, to do that without your foot hitting the ground. And back up. It might take you one or two reps just to get used to it. But you concentrate. Right. So when you're when you're uh, doing like Lauren said, her her right side, you're using your right quad, and when you're using your left side, so she's using all the power from her left side to keep her right leg from touching the ground. Okay, so we're got on them. We're working for thirty seconds on each side. Then you've got your uh, renegade row or shoulder tap. So if you have dumbbells, we're going to do your renegade row. If you don't have dumbbells, we're going to do shoulder taps. So just tap in the alternate shoulder. Very important with this that you dig your feet into the ground. If you don't push your feet hard enough into the ground, they're going to lift up into the air, which we don't want. Okay. After them, you're going to do your sumo squat to curtsy lunge. So we did your curtsy lunge in the last program. Now we're going to tie the two of these exercises together. So you're going to always do one squat, then curtsy lunge to the side. And again, with these, we're going to change a halfway. Guys, just when you're doing these, your sumo, your toes are out. As you go into your curtsy lunge, make sure you turn that foot back in straight, that you're not doing your curtsy lunge with your toe out. You'll hurt your knee. Okay. okay. Your rear delt fly. If you don't have two dumbbells, we're going to use two bottles of water. So you see the way the, the top of the, the dumbbell is going to face the ceiling. So you're working through them deep muscles of your upper back and shoulders. 
So you're getting the dumbbells right up. So even though they're probably only like two or three kg and they are really hard. So two bottles Great. of water. Great, guys. You don't need heavy, so like two pounds of beans. Perfect. Okay. And then your last exercise, your mountain climbers. So we're just going to pump your legs, knees right into your chest and trying to get as many reps as we can. Really fast. Okay, so everyone ready? We're going to give you 10 seconds to get your... Uh, your weights, your water, and your mats, and your towel ready to roll. Okay, guys, so we have your program up here in the corner, always to glance up, but we'll be talking you through it, so don't worry, you're, uh, you shouldn't probably need to look at it too much. Okay, if you're outside, stay outside. If you're getting good connection, if you're looking at your telly, just make sure you have your water and you have the windows open. Really important, guys, that we don't get too warm. Make sure that you have your windows open and you're you're getting plenty of air in. Okay, I'm going to leave it to uh, Lauren here for your warm-up. All right, guys, just starting off, we're going to do a reverse lay lunge. Six on right, six on left. So you're going to lunge back into the middle, lunge back into the middle. Four more. Three. Two. One more, and we're going to switch your legs. Back to the middle, back to the middle. Get that knee down to the ground. Three more. Two. One more. Straight into squats for 10. So we're going to do sumo toes eight, down and up. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more, down into a plank, guys, activate that core. Elbows down, interlock your fingers, squeeze the hands, squeeze the glutes, core activated. I you stay down. We're here for 30 seconds. Five gone, 25 to go. Hold that belly button in, guys. 20 left, 15. Keep holding it, guys. We have another 10. Five seconds. Three, two, up onto your hands, guys. Push your bum back, looking between the legs, hold it here. Push your hands. The ground, bending from the knee. Four more on each side. Three. Two and one. Well done, guys. Back into your full plank, stepping up. All right, guys. So we need our weights for our dumbbells uh, swing to press. Um, if you don't have your dumbbells, you're going to use a cowbell to a full swing, American side to the top. Get okay, ready, guys, guys. We're going to get your. We'll get the timer up on screen here. Okay, so you can see your timer in the screen. We're going to work for 45 on and 15 off. The two exercises, the two single leg exercises we'll be doing for uh, 30 on each side. Okay, so we're going to get your tunes ready to roll. Okay, and we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. And push. Swing, shoulders, push. Core tight. Hinge, push. That's it, super. Just make sure we're using your legs. Try keep Lauren's pace here, guys. Big push up, guys. Good, nice control tempos. 20 to go. Brilliant work. 15 Big push. seconds to go. Almost there, guys. Last one, and rest. Well done, super work. Okay, we're into your plank to hollow body hold. Really, really important now, we're using really strong hip muscles here. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Push the booty right up, then drop down, squeeze up. 
Breathe out as we go up, guys. Breathe in on the way down. Squeeze up. Excellent work, guys. 20 seconds to go. Keep that core really tight. 10 seconds. Nerdy there. Rest. Well done. All right, guys, ready for our to pistol squats? Just go with body weight here. Five seconds, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. It might take you around one or two rounds just to get these guys, so don't worry. Just don't try to focus on your guys, technique for the first and second round. Don't rush through them. And you're strong up off your chair. So bum into your chair and then use your quads. Really important now. Strong up. Excellent, guys. Chair. Fast up. Slow to the chair. Fast up. Okay, one more and we're going to chain sides. Okay, we're going to change sides, guys. Super, you may find now that you have one leg that's stronger than the other. If you do, that, don't worry, that's normal. If you find you're better and balanced on one side. 15 to go. Keep that toe up in the air. Just try your best not to let it hit the ground. Five seconds. Brilliant guys, rest. Well done. Well done. Tough guys. Okay, so remember now we either use dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you're gonna do shoulder taps. If you do have dumbbells, you're gonna do your renegade row with the dumbbells. Should be able to do them with any weight dumbbells. Four, three, two, one, let's go. That's it, squeeze the booty guys. Keep those hips really steady. Draw that belly button in. Super breathe out as we row. Squeeze into the back, guys. Any issues with that lower back? Switch your feet. A little bit wider than hip distance. Excellent, guys. 15 to go. Almost there, guys. Five seconds to go. Rest. Well done. Super. All right, guys. Sumo squats, curtsy lunge. Back to body weight. Okay. So again, focus on your balance here, guys, as we do our curtsy. So watch Lauren's foot position. The Ready? toes out. And, and let's go. Eight. Yep. Let's go. Cross. So sumo. And cross. Okay, so we're going to do 30 on your right side, 30 on your left. So just adjust your toe position as we do the curtsy lunge. Really strong now on your abs and your glutes, guys. That's where your balance comes from. Five seconds and we're going to change sides. Change sides. That's it. Again, you may find that you're better on one side here, guys. That's normal. Super work. 15 to go. Super guys, keep it up now. 10 seconds to go. Brilliant, last five. Last one. Rest guys, last great up. stuff. Okay, take our breather. We're going into your rear delt fly, so remember, Two weights or two bottles of water or two tins of beans. Okay, just be creative guys. If you don't have any equipment, try to be creative. Four, <laughs> three, two, one, and let's go. Keep this tempo guys, three, two, one, one eight. So you remember the top of the dumbbell or whatever implements you're using is gonna go up facing the ceiling. Right, so if you had a band here, same idea, you'd be pulling it up, and back in, keeping tension. Big squeeze down to 
back of those shoulders. Excellent. Here you go. Last two. One more, guys. Three, and rest, one. well done. Well done. Okay, last one on this round is your mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one, and away we go. Go guys, really fast. That's Watch it guys, legs. well done. We're getting that knee into your chest. Keep pumping those legs as fast as we can. You'll be noticing your fitness levels are getting much better week on week, guys. Super work. 25 seconds to go. 20 to go. Good. Right till the end, everyone. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and rest. Woo! Mission complete. Well done, guys. Well done. First one, one down, day. guys. Okay, we're going to get a drink. We're going to take 45 seconds rest. So that was a really good first round. So the second round, if you have any exercise that you need to focus on the most, just make sure that you're making your alterations if you need to. So for the pistol squats, if you want to do normal body weight squats, that's fine. But try your best to do the pistol squats, guys. If, you, if anybody does happen to have a TRX, or like even harder on the TRX. So if you wanted, you can use your TRX for the pistol squats. Not many people will have them, but the odd person might. So if you do, it's a good alternative. Okay, we're going to get ready to go in 15 seconds, guys. Okay, so Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Go ahead, so strong swing up. Remember, if you only have a kettlebell, guys, you're going to do a full kettlebell swing, American style. But if we have dumbbells or water, water bottles, we're going to do what Lauren's doing. Try keep Lauren's pace here. Maybe 30 gone, guys. Brilliant stuff. Excellent. 10 seconds to go. Nearly there. Come on, big push. Last five. Rest. Well done. Woo. Solid, guys. Solid work. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it, bum up high. Squeeze those bum muscles, guys. Drop down, squeeze up, bum up high in the air. That's it, really good. You're gonna drop your hips down to the neutral position and then hips right up. Excellent. Brilliant work, guys. 10 seconds to go. Last one. And rest. Well done, super work. Great work, guys. You're on to your uh, pistol squats now. Okay, five seconds and we're in. Three, two, one, away we go. That's it, strong up from your quads, guys. Really important now where you're using your quad muscles. Excellent, if you, if you find them too hard with keeping your foot in the air, it's fine just to tap the ground with your foot and then come up. 10 seconds and then we're gonna change legs. Super stuff, everybody. And change sides. Brilliant, guys. That's it. Strong up. Brilliant. Digging in. OK, 
10 seconds to go. Nearly there. Good, everybody. One more. Rest, guys. Super. Okay, you're onto your renegade row or your shoulder taps. Remember, if you don't have weights, you're going to do the plank shoulder taps. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Brilliant stuff. On you, Excellent. man. Keep those hips steady. So dig your feet hard into the ground here, guys. That's what's going to keep you really still. Good, really good. 20 to go. Brilliant work, lads. 10 seconds to go. Last five. And rest, guys. Great work. Super, guys. Well done. Well done, everybody. 10 seconds and we're in. Okay, you're going into your sumo squat to curtsy lunges. And away we go. The squat down and then a strong curtsy lunge across. So see the way Lauren's getting her knee outside her foot, the line of her foot. So that's how far you want to be across. You're going to get a strong contraction in your glutes, your bum muscles. Good, so try keep Lauren's tempo here, guys. She's going at a good, nice control tempo. One more and then we're going to chain sides. And chain sides. Excellent, everybody. 20 to go. Good, 15. 10 more, guys. Last five. Rest, super. Woo. Good work. Excellent. Good work, everybody. We're getting ready to roll here, guys. Three, two, one, and let's go. Into your rear delt fly. That's it. We're going really well, guys. Keep that tempo, guys. Three, two, so the one. The top of that dumbbell oh. is up facing the ceiling. Super, guys. Okay, we're over halfway. Fifteen seconds to go. Last five. One more, guys. Rest, guys. Great stuff. Okay, last one in this round. Your mountain climbers. Ten seconds, and we're in. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Big push on those knees, guys. Brilliant. Keep that pace, guys. Can you hear me? Can't hear you guys. 
Go on again. Twenty seconds to go. Maybe there, guys. Last ten, guys. Nearly there, last five. Rest, well done. Woo. Solid work, guys. Okay, ten seconds and we're in. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. That's it, so you're getting your hips really high up in the air. Good, and we're gonna drop down, squeeze up. Excellent stuff, guys. Well done, 20 gun. Super work, guys. Keep that breathing good. 10 seconds to go. Good, last five. One more guys, push it up. Well done. And rest, well done. Super work lads. Okay guys, you're onto your pistol squats. Three, two, one, away we go. Solid work, guys. Breathing out on the way up. Two more, then we're gonna change sides. Okay, we're gonna change sides now, guys. That's it, remember we're using the quads, strong up from the quads. Good, we've got 20 seconds to go. 15 to go. Go ahead, 10 more, everybody. Last five. And rest, guys. Well done. Well done. Solid work, guys. Okay, we are going on to your renegade row. Five, four, three, two, one and away we go. Big squeeze it. Core tight, hips stable. Breathe into those lats. Fifteen to go, guys. Here you there. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Great stuff. Woo. Brilliant, guys. Okay, we're on to your sumo squats, the curtsy lunge. But just try keep Lauren's pace here. She's going at the perfect pace. So try keep up with her. Ready. And let's go. Just keep changing your foot position. So as you do the curtsy lunge, your foot's gonna go to the straight position. As you're doing your sumo squat, your foot's feet are pointing out. Brilliant work, guys. Chain sides, straight across into your left. Super work guys, 20 to go. 
15 to go. Good, well done everybody, 10 seconds to go. One more, and change guys, well done. Ready outside. Super work guys. Okay, remember your dumbbells or your bottles of water. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Top of that dumbbell facing up to the ceiling. Excellent work, guys. Twenty to go. Good, everybody. Ten seconds. Last five. And rest, guys. Great stuff. Okay, our last one in this round is your mountain climbers. Five seconds. Three, two, one, away we go. Pump those knees into our chest, guys. Try to keep up with Lauren's pace here. Excellent. Making sure I'm tired of this time. Super, we're over halfway, guys. Fifteen to go. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Mission complete. <laughs> Super guys, okay, take 45 seconds rest. Three rounds down. Hope you're all sweating guys. Although it's not just a sweat class only, you should be sweating as well. So you should be working hard enough that you are feeling a good sweat on. It's a different session to the morning sessions like I explained the other day. It's equally as challenging, just different. The morning session is more of a high intensity based session. Here our high intensity work is going to be on your finisher and maybe with your mountain climbers but the bulk of the work is designed to be more kind of weight based. I know we might be limited in what we have but just making use of whatever you do have as best you can. So we're going to go in, uh, we're going to go in 10 seconds Lauren. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and away we go. Four round, guys. Excellent. Keeping up at Lauren's pace. Super, guys. Big push, guys. We're over halfway now. Strong up at the legs. Remember, if you only have a kettlebell, just keep doing full kettlebell swings. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Nearly there, guys. Come on, finish strong. Five more. Rest. Well done. Super. Okay, six exercises to go here, guys. Great stuff. Plank into hollow body. Five, four, three, two, one. Away we go. Good, bums up high. Super guys, get those hips up high in the air and drop back down. Excellent stuff. Okay, we have 20 to go. 15. Good, 
brilliant guys. That's five. Rest. Well done. Super, everybody. On to our pistol squats, guys. Five to go, guys. Five seconds. Ready. And away we go. Super, guys. Strong up. Make sure you're using your quad muscles. They're your thigh muscles. Good, breathe out on the way up. Excellent. Come on, dig in. Keep Lauren's pace here, guys. Change sides. Okay, so you're straight into your other side. Brilliant work. Get it there, guys. Push it through now. Last ten. Five. Rest, guys. Great stuff. Four exercises to go. Okay, you're into your renegade rows. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and let's go. Remember the alternatives is your shoulder taps. <laughs> Super guys, over halfway. Five more guys. And rest. Super work. Good work, guys. Excellent. Three exercises to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Away we go. Brilliant stuff. Excellent guys, try stick with Lauren's tempo here. So focus on your balance as you do your curtsy lunge. So remember your curtsy lunge, you're getting that knee across outside your foot, so back and across. And chain sides. Super work, 20 seconds. Dig in guys, we're almost there. Give me there. Last five. Rest. Woo. Brilliant Good stuff. Okay, last two guys. Your dumbbells or your bottles of water. Four, three, two, one. Away we go. Big squeeze. Keep that tempo. Three down. One up. Three down. Three down. Twenty seconds, guys. Good, everyone. Right till the end, guys. Last five. You did it. Rest. Rest. Good job. One to go, guys. Last one, guys. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and let's go, mountain climbers. 
Big push on the knees, guys. Fifteen gone. Fifteen to go, guys. Come on, big push to the end. Ten seconds. Last five. And rest, guys. Great stuff. Good work. Woo. Grab a drink, guys. Okay, well done, guys. Solid work. Okay, get your drinks, guys. We are going to do a solid finisher. My favorite finisher of all time. It's the easiest to do, easiest to set up. We can do it from anywhere. Um, so you're going to be doing a Tabata. So it's like we did on Monday. You're going to work for 20 seconds as fast as we can, 10 seconds rest on two exercises. So you've got burpees. And you've got trusters. So you're going to go back to back. One set of burpees. One set of trusters. So with your trusters. If you have dumbbells. We're going to use your dumbbells. If not use whatever you have. That you can push up overhead. So whether it's a weight plate. Dumbbells. Um, a kettlebell. Whatever it is. You're going to do a full squat down. And a strong push up. So with your trusters. You should be getting around. Uh. 12 reps in your uh, about 12 reps in your 20 seconds with your burpees we want to be aiming for at least eight reps in your 20 seconds okay so it's really really fast on each of them it's tabata which is designed to be as fast as you possibly can so empty the tank you've got four minutes of flat out work 20 seconds on 10 seconds rest your rest is more so a changeover of exercise you won't have too much time for resting just be ready to go when the clock gets to your uh, 10 seconds is up. Okay, so we're gonna get some tunes on for you. And we're gonna go in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Flat out, 20 seconds. Down, push, down, push. Super, guys. 10 seconds to go. Keep working, don't pull up early. Five seconds. Rest. Ten seconds break into your burpees. Remember, we're aiming for eight burpees. Three, two, one, let's go. Brilliant, guys. Good. Keep pumping the legs right till the end. Rest, guys. Great work. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, thrusters. So the changeovers are very quick, guys. No messing around. Ten seconds to go. Brilliant work. Rest. Super. Three of eight down. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Boy, remember we're aiming for eight reps, guys. Excellent stuff. Good. Right till the end. Rest, guys. Super, we've got four rounds with two minutes work. Three, two, one, let's go, guys. Excellent, come on, big push. Really, really fast here. Well done, we're keeping that pace, guys. And rest. Three exercises to go. 
60 seconds of work, guys. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, we're aiming for eight reps, guys. Challenge yourself. Good, keep going right till the end. Rest, well done. Two exercises and we're done, guys. Come on, big push. Your 40 seconds work. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, squat right down, big push up. Excellent work. Come on, we're digging in, guys. Right till the end. Keep going. Nearly there. Rest. Well done. Okay, we're going to have a 20 second breather, guys. We want to make sure this is your best one. And we all get a minimum of eight reps. 10 seconds and we're in. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's go. Your last one. Come on, try and hit them eight reps minimum. Super, guys. Almost there. And rest. Well done. Super. Woo! Mission complete. Brilliant, guys. Solid work. Break. Those heartbeats are probably up now. Well done, guys. Have your drink in. Okay, so we are going to have a little bit of a stretch now when Lauren comes back. Hopefully, she's not going to get sick. I'm all right. I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'm only joking. Okay, well done, guys. Okay, so Lauren is going to just take us through a little stretching routine, guys. All right, guys, I'm just going to turn on my fan which I should have turned on at the start. I wonder, can you hear me okay, Angel? Yep, you can blast away there with the stretching. Perfect, guys, so what I want you to do is I want you to lean onto your knees, first of all. Go down on your hunkers. We're just gonna grab our ankles and we're gonna slightly lean back. So we're gonna just try and get a nice big stretch into the quads and the hip flexors. While you're leaning back, guys, I don't want you to overstretch. So only go as far as you feel comfortable. So you're holding your feet, and you can lean back onto the floor as well. So your arms are fully extended behind you. And you should feel a really big stretch from your knees all the way up to your hip joints. And just lean back and look up towards the ceiling and just hold it there for me. Keep that core nice and tight. So we're just hook it on the quads. So your pistol squats, which would be a new exercise, especially um, if you haven't uh, like anything to assist you at home like T-Rex. So the uh, curtsy lunge with the sumo squat as well would be quite heavy on the quads, so really aim to stretch these out as much as you can. Try and hold it here for about another 15 seconds. If you can, bring yourself back a little bit more. But again, only go as far as you feel comfortable. And if you have any strain in your back, please stop. So guys, just trying to take that breath down as well. Try to slow your breath down, so really breathing into your nose. Breathing out to your mate. Slowly, guys, we're just going to bring ourselves back up slowly. Take your time. Perfect. So, I want you into your child's pose, guys. So, you're going to step back onto your hunkers, right all the way back, reaching as far forward as you can. And I want you to bring your forehead down to your mat, looking right in between your knees, back towards your feet. And I just want you to hold it here. So stay in this position, guys. Again, nice deep breath in. And breathing out to your mouth. So inhale through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. So here, guys, I just want you to stay in the same position, but I want you to walk your hands over to the right-hand side of your mat. So with your renegade rows, guys, you will work your lap. You want to get a nice big stretch down that left hand side. So make sure you're walking your hands over as far as you can while keeping that bum back on the heels. Just 
ourselves here for two seconds again, guys. And then we're going to walk our hands over to the left hand side of the mat. Slowly across, keeping that bum back. Just walk them right over and hold it there. Keep starting to slow down that breath. Try not to hold your breath. So make sure you're breathing through stretches. Alright guys, so from here, I'm just going to show you the side on. So I just want to bring yourself into a box position. And we're going to round our back as if you're trying to pull your belly button right in and round your spine up towards the ceiling. You're going to look back in between the legs. Hold it here. And then guys, we're going to push the bum back. So if you're pushing your tailbone up towards the ceiling, then you're going to arch your back and look up towards whatever's in front of you, with the wall, with the TV. Get that nice arch in the back, and now you're going to push the spine back up towards the ceiling. Raising that spine, looking back in between the legs again. Squeezing those glutes, keeping that core as tight as you can. Be trying to tuck that spine, guys. And then again, pushing the tailbone back up and looking back up. So we're going to do one more of each. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, looking back up. breathing out back into neutral. All right guys, from here, I just want you to bring yourself again facing forward for me. So we're going to stretch out the hip flexors where I want you to bring your right foot forward. Knee is bent. Your left knee is on the floor. And we're just going to stretch through that hip, pushing that front knee forward but making sure the knee doesn't come over the toe. So that toe should be in front of your knee. Just pushing through that hip. Keeping the chest up, nice and tall. And from here, guys, you're going to bring your palms up towards the ceiling and we're going to push up. So, guys, if you're feeling a little bit unbalanced, bring those hands back down to the hips. So, only if you feel comfortable, bring your palms up towards the ceiling, pushing right up. So, you're pushing through your hip, keep yourself nice and stable, pushing your front foot into the mat, your back knee into the floor, and pushing your palms up towards the ceiling. Again, breathing into your nose, breathing out through the mouth. Nice deep breath in, guys. And breathing out, back down. Switching over, opposite side. So we're stepping forward to the left, bending that knee, right knee on the floor, and we're going to push through that right hip. So again, guys, you should be able to see that left toe. That knee isn't coming forward over that toe. And then we're going to raise those arms up again and pushing up. Hold it here, guys. I honestly don't know why I didn't have that fan on from the very start. Oh, is it? <laughs> right, we might need to move that closer towards me, so. But it's definitely something I need to use. <laughs> All right, guys, relaxing those arms down again. And we're just bringing ourselves back. So guys, we're going to pop ourselves down onto our bums. And we're going to swing those legs to the front. So you're going to bring your two heels in close to the body again. And I want you to bring your two hands behind you. So I want you to try and flatten your palms down onto the floor. So your arms are fully extended behind. I want you to pull your shoulder blades back. And I want you to try to push your knees down towards the ground. Keeping that upper body nice and straight up. Just trying to drop those knees down as far as you can. So again, we're not using our arms or our hands to push those knees down. We're using those inner and outer thigh muscles to push those knees down as far as you can. You should find now we're about three weeks doing the stretch. You should find that these muscles are getting a little bit more mobile. They're getting a little bit looser and you're being able to push those knees just a little bit further down. 
So flexibility, guys, as I'm always saying, it is something you can work on, and in six weeks, you can really increase your flexibility. So keep pushing those knees down. We're going to hold it for a little bit longer. So the main thing is try and keep those feet to your heels in as close to the body as you can, and try and push those knees down while keeping the sit bones, so keep your glutes on the floor, guys. Try to push your hands into the ground and pull those shoulder blades back as well. Stay here. And ease it slowly back up. All right, guys, straighten out those legs. We're nearly there. So just in that seated position again, hands flat on the floor, shoulders back. And I just want you to point your toe forward, guys. So we're going to get a nice big stretch on the front of the foot and onto the shins here. The reason why I'm doing this one with you guys is a lot of people have said kind of the front of their shins are sore. And that's mainly because we're doing a lot of high impact work. So not exactly just in the classes. But a lot of people are doing a lot of walking, which I've been asking you to do, get your set up for them. But they're running as well. If you're running on pavement, guys, you're going to start noticing that impact. We'll get to your knees, ankles, shins, and maybe the hips as well. So it's really beneficial to be getting your stretches in every day. And this is still something you could be doing even after your run. It's a very simple stretch. All you have to do is sit down on the ground and point your toe forward. And you'll really find that the stretch runs up, nearly up as high as the knee. Just pushing those toes forward as far as you can. Really trying to round that foot. Just hold it there. If you find, guys, that that's really tight, then you need to be stretching it. If you find that an area or a muscle group, as soon as you go into the stretch, that it's sore, it means that area is tight. So right now, after training, you should be feeling quite warm. So your muscles should be feeling quite loose as well. And from here, guys, we're just going to point those toes up. And we're going to arms up, and we're going to reach forward all the way down. We're going to try and grab those feet. So again, guys, we're trying to ease the chest down towards those knees. You can grab your ankles. You can grab the bottom of your foot. You can grab the top of your foot. But the main aim here is to keep those legs straight so we're not bending the knees. And we're trying to bring that chest down as far to those thighs as we can. That's our aim. As if you're trying to bring your forehead to your knees, Keeping your core really tight. You're getting a nice big stretch. So you should be feeling the stretch literally from your calves to your hamstrings to your lats and your back. This is your stretch in the lower and the upper body here. So from here, guys, I want you to bring your right hand across your body to the outer side of your left foot. And I just want you to hold it there. So now you should feel that the stretch is going into the lower back on the right side. And again, one side might feel a little bit tighter than the other. Again, just make sure you're stretching out that area. A little bit more than the opposite side. And then bring both hands over to the right. So you're going to the outer foot, guys. So both hands into the outer side of the foot. Again, if you can't reach there, just try to reach the outer leg or the top of the toes. But I want you leaning over to that right hand side. Okay, guys, I'm back into the middle. We're just going to finish off on the glutes before we stand up. So I want you to cross that right foot over the left knee. I want you to hug that left knee, with, or sorry, your right knee with your left arm. And I want you to bring that right hand. Straight behind the glutes and look behind that right shoulder for me. So I want you to try and pull that knee across the body and look right behind. And you will feel that stretch in the opposite side of your back over here. You'll feel it on both sides, but primarily on your glutes at the top. Switch it over, guys. So foot flat down. Pull that knee across, bring this hand behind, look straight behind that shoulder. Do a nice big twist from the spine as well, guys. Hold here for a few seconds, we're nearly there. Sure everyone's starving. Back into the middle. Relax back. All right, guys, so we're going to stand up nice and slowly. Take your time. You've been on the floor for a few moments. 
All right, guys, so we're just going to finish off with a chest stretch. So bring those hands behind, hands in up a bit, and we're going to lift those hands up as high as we can. We're going to pull those shoulder blades back, and we're just going to keep lifting up, and we're going to hold it here. So hopefully now, guys, if you're working from home, you've managed to source a good desk and a chair so that it's a little bit more comfortable for you. You're not working from your sofa or your bed. Because, guys, it's really not great for posture. So making sure that if you are working um, from home, that you have some sort of good position for you to be sitting in for the majority of the day. And make sure that you're doing these chest stretches every day if you can. Keep those shoulders right back and back down. Well done, guys. Super work. Well done, guys. Solid work. That was a really tough session. So as we said earlier in the post, it's a different session to the, the mornings and the evenings are purposely different. The evening sessions are tailored for people that do have some equipment. So if you don't have any equipment, maybe the morning sessions are better for you. If you do have equipment, mixing the sessions up is a good thing for um, to keep you going and keep you like kind of doing a little bit of weight training and your body weight stuff as well. So Kind of get used to doing a bit of both if you have got your weights. We don't want you to have weights and not use them. So if you do have your equipment, the evening sessions are great for, for people with equipment. Okay, Guys, well, go on. Uh, just again, we didn't see my post today. Little are bringing out weights tomorrow. So um, there is a set that basically you can add on weights to it, okay? It's a really, really good set. It's actually only about 20 quid. I put it up on the post earlier on. But you can add weight on to each one. So it can bring it up to a total of 10. So it means you can, they're basically, it can be a lighter weight or it can be a heavier weight. So if you can, it would be something really worthwhile investing in. And um, even if we were to be back in here in three weeks time, it'd be something you'll always use. So I would highly recommend it. And they're very expensive to buy online otherwise. Okay, Lauren as well, talk them through the, the um, talk them through the, the hamper. So uh, basically talk, like what we find is a lot of people Think, kind of get scared when we do any sort of a challenge like it's not something that we want you to be scared of we want you to kind of say right it's a challenge that I can do it's not it's fairly simple we can all do it but don't get put off by the word challenge it's kind of something that everybody is able to do what we've done is that we've purposely made it that there's not going to be one winner from doing the most so it's a challenge that everybody can do something every day and be one of the winners and we've got some like there's really good stuff in the hamper so everyone is able to do it it's kind of a case of just going ahead and pushing yourself to do maybe a little bit more than you're doing but not a whole lot more so guys it's very much achievable okay so most of us are actually doing these things every single day but we're just not putting it on the facebook page so the one of the big aims of this is we want people interacting so we want people just um i suppose being accountable as well so it's about the meals it's about the steps and um, again a lot of people are doing 5k challenges and trying to get a bit of running done so what we have done is we've made a few li a list of a few different challenges that we want you to do on a daily basis so today is the first day and you have 14 days to do okay so every day you have to do this so you've got 10,000 steps which is well manageable guys okay it's great weather so it could be um a little walk before work, at lunchtime, in the evening time, it's well manageable, okay? And it's also, um, Lauren, it's it's something like 10,000 steps. It sounds a lot, but if you're, now, if you don't have a watch, you can even get it up on your phone, guys. It, like, it does, se it. it sounds like a lot, but it's not actually as much as you think. Like, if you keep your watch on you during the day, from the time you get up, you do loads of steps that you don't even know you're doing. So, you do loads of movement around your house and stuff. It's basically... Yeah. It's only people who are sitting down for the whole day that find it that they do need to get out for a long walk. But most of yeah. us are getting in these steps that we, we might not even realize. So guys, roughly a 40 minute walk at a fast pace will actually bring you to about 10,000 steps, okay? If you're cleaning the house, um, you can pop your phone. If you don't have a Fitbit or um, a watch, again, Little are actually doing um, the fitness watches tomorrow as well. So I think they're about 20 quid. So again, if you don't have one, it might be worth picking up just for a little bit of extra motivation. Yeah, it Do does. It definitely motivates you. Like even from myself, from from uh, doing the 5K runs, I used to just run. And I would do the same distance, but I didn't have a clue of my like times per kilometer and stuff. 
So like that was my goal that I wanted to break down each kilometer and see where I could improve on my run. So for you guys, it could be that you just want to see how many steps you're doing. And if it, if it helps you to do more exercise, it's a good thing. So guys, yes, we have the 10,000 steps and we have included the two by a 3K run a week, okay? So in total over the 14 days, we need you to do four 3K runs, okay? And we also want you to post your meals. Now, if you're not a fan of taking a photo of your meals, which I totally understand if you don't want to be taking a photo every time you eat, that's cool. But I would like you to give me a description of what you're eating. So if you have rice, mint, and um, whatever it may be, but I'd like you to give me a description and kind of say, right, I'm having about 125 grams of rice. I'm having bolognese. It's a homemade version. You know, just give me a little bit of detail so I can actually see, right, is this what you should be eating? And it will um, help you guys. So don't worry. Like, I know a couple of the ladies had comments, oh, I don't like putting my food up. Just even let us know what you're having. The food is where most of us fall down and where we our results slip. So if you can keep a track of your foods, it will help us as well to kind of keep you on track. Don't worry if it's not 100% good. When you write it down on paper or you take a picture, you're going to be far more accountable than just not doing it at all because you kind of, you'll have a little bit of pressure on you from us that, come on, let's get going. Let's get your foods on underway and get yourself into the best shape you can. So don't be afraid of doing it. You could also just keep a log every day on your phone and notes. And if you want to screenshot it to me or Ado, we'll happily go through it and give you a bit of feedback. So you don't have, if you really don't want to post it into the main group, I totally understand. You can just send it to us privately. I have no problem getting private messages and um, I'll help you out any way I can, all right? Okay, well then, uh, Cara, thanks. Uh, yeah, good to get Sersha involved. Well done, Sersha will be ready to roll when we're back in the gym. Uh, Yvette, well done Yvette, super, uh, you're, you love your evening sessions, great to see you there again. Well done girls. Uh, John, well done John, great to see you got another session in John, I know you're always in for your 5 o'clock so it's kind of an hour later than usual but great to see that you're training. So guys, we've what we found is that most people doing the evening session aren't actually live so if you're not seeing it at 6 o'clock don't worry. Just follow along. It's the exact same thing. You'll still get the exact same session. Just don't have it in your head that you're not getting the same because you didn't watch it there and then. It's the exact same. Just watch it back later. It's a really good session and you will enjoy it, okay? So have a great evening, guys, and we will uh, chat to you into the Facebook group, okay? Well done, everyone. Well done, guys. Happy Wednesday. Super